Yeah, feeling excited. I'm finally home. It's been a bit rough two first weeks, but definitely being home, plus the derby, lots of excitement. So definitely will be a good game. Definitely, it's been not the best first two weeks, but I think we've been trusting the process and knowing that like we're going to hit form at the right time. And it's the matter of just like getting better relationships. There are so many new people playing in different positions that it's just like a matter of time and just working on building those relationships. So that's what we've been working on at training. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I feel like I've lived in Australia a long time. Um, so hearing that I've made 50 appearances sounds pretty pretty special for me and a fun moment for to share with the girls this weekend with hopefully a win. <laughs> I do I do love Vegemite and apparently I, I put too much on. They always tell me that I've put way too much on the ratio but I actually really like it. Um, and I would say I've been here in April it'll be almost six years so it's actually crazy but obviously I think like four or maybe those have played double league with the different months like how they used to be a lot shorter so it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I think well, last year was a bit of a difficult year for me, but honestly, I think it was a year of like a lot of personal growth, like off the field, I think. It was like some really hard times, like being hurt for so long with a bone injury that it's like doesn't really get better any quicker. So you actually just have to wait it out. And I think coming to through that and like to win the grand final and score that goal, like I feel like it was it ended up being like a year that I'm proud of in a lot of ways. Um, and then this year, I'm happy to be back. Yeah, working with Ante is incredible. I think he um, there's like uh, definitely a reason why he's been producing such great players and hopefully with more health this season I can continue to develop um, under him as well because I just feel like there's always room for improvement. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I love everything about like Heart. It feels like they're so close and like I feel like we're able to like develop more connections with the fans and their signs. Like last year, there, like this group of girls had like all these signs for me every week and it honestly was really special, especially when I was coming back from injury and you kind of feel like you're not like in the same fold. But like one of my first games back, they had like a few signs for me and I just like made me feel well, you know, still included because sometimes you can feel a bit detached. So I feel like it's really great to get those like personal connections with fans and see the same people every week because they're just so close. Yeah, I think it'll be extra special. I think we're all so keen to be at home with our own fans because like the grand final didn't even feel, it felt pretty weird, like even winning with like no one cheering for us. So I think we'll, we're desperate for a bit of home advantage and I think we'll definitely use it to our best ability this weekend with all the fans. Yeah, I think it makes it a bit of a spicy round having it first home game, but not only first home game, it's the Derby. So there's a, there's a lot of excitement going on and obviously we want Sydney to still be sky blue and like we've got um, a good history with that so obviously that's something we want to maintain and especially like three points are absolutely crucial this week in this point in the season so definitely exciting on all counts. Mm. Yeah I think they had mixed results I think between the first and second game but like the first game showed that they pounced on any errors the Newcastle had made so I think that they are not a team to take lightly and I think that in any like matchup especially the derby everyone becomes like the best version of themselves in a way so I think that you don't want to underestimate anyone and they have really really quality players and that are definitely going to elevate their game um, this weekend. Um, I think we need to just work on like retaining possession a bit better and then like how we're using that possession to go forward and actually score some goals and attack but also being just a bit tighter defensively especially on those crucial moments like right before half conceding like honestly in the dying moments of the first halves in both games I think definitely killed a bit momentum when both games we were definitely like fully in especially the first one and even the last game so I think to be ahead or maintain you know keeping it even before halftime will be definitely crucial um but in addition just to taking our chances and backing ourselves a bit more um and just really attacking because i feel like we've been lacking that a bit